Hi everyone. Um, this is just a quick tutorial um, before we do the telecon a little bit later. Um, what, you, what you're looking at is a Liberty branded um, test site. Unfortunately, because of IT issues at your head office, we couldn't set up the, the, the branded one for you. So, so please excuse that, but it will at least still show the functionality of how it will work. What you're looking at is a for, in the Liberty's case, each broker of theirs has it, will get a blog page like this. In your case, each one of you five, the, your malls, could have a blog page. Now, I've looked at your websites. Some of you have a blog page, Gateway. The others, not so much. And, and this could either add to or replace your blog page because all content can be put here and then shared from here um, on, in various ways. So just imagine... Every time you see my ugly face, this is your logo, your details, this is your malls blog page. Now, each one of you will have access to a library of content like this. So, you would be able to look through and you can search, you can type into the search box fashion or recipe or anything else, or you can look under popular categories, you can look at DIY, recipes, fashion, tech, you click on that and it kind of sorts it from there. But if you see an article you like, um, you read a little blurb on it, you say, okay, I want to add that to my blog. You literally go add to a blog. And, and, and here's one of the tricks so, you, so that it's not all exactly the same content. Um, if for, for some reason, um, Zone, um, Kelsey, you want to put um, this lady because she represents your brand a bit more, but Lana Cavendish wants to put this, you guys can choose whichever one you want um, and just say add to your blog. Um, and then when you get over here, you refresh this page, then dependent on what picture you chose, the article is placed onto your website. Um, and within the content, and whatever it is, if there's ever a mention of the mall's name, your mall name will get pulled through automatically when it comes to that. So if you're talking about workout, blah, 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 um, or, or let's say there's a talking about coffee, coffee shops or anything else, and then you could just go, there are loads of coffee shops at um, the zone. And if someone else cho chose a different picture, Cavendish, and you'll just say Cavendish Square. So it personalizes it as it pulls down your content. This is for shared content, and we'll talk about that in the telecon because I think there's a huge opportunity to, um, to save uh, costs by sharing some content. Um, what we can do when we hear your more specific content can also be tagged and just say, Cavendish, and then you'll be able to search for only Cavendish's mall specific content, which you're already doing. Cavendish happens to be using us for social media. If one of the other malls have a different supplier, we can upload their content, they create, tag it for you with your mall so that you can search um, your mall um, and, and only get content for your mall. But uh, let me just show you other functionalities quickly. You can add video, so if we've got video, I'm just gonna show you there. Let's do another few examples, add here, and we choose him as the target market this time. Um, there's also, I don't have a, an example right now, but we can have a carousel of pictures if you have a, a, a couple of images there. Let's just add her again, and what else? And one more, we just add that one. Then, that was, I was clicking on about four over there, if I refresh this, then all those articles are here on your on your website with um, personalized to how you want it and how you chose it. Um, the videos, for example, plays within here. You you play it and the and the video will play. It's not taking you away from your website or anything else. All right. Okay. I can stop that. So. And then these categories automatically um, build as you place it dependent on what the, 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 the tags were. So if you, you're adding business finance or whatever, that's why there's a, a business and a finance tab here. So if it's fashion, you'll also be able to search within this element. 
Um, from here, you can also share on Facebook. Um, we will switch off Twitter and LinkedIn. I don't think you guys want that. We'll switch on Facebook and Instagram, I would think, so that you can share content directly from here. And if people come and read it on your website, they can also share um, stuff that they like on, on their feeds. Here's the, the newsletter functionality. Um, which which you I think most of you thought you're only getting a newsletter functionality but if you go to newsletter and you, you want to create an email um, we go create email newsletter this populates by itself if you're going to send out one per excuse that pop up if uh, if you can see it I just got an email and it popped up on the screen um, Let's see, if, if you can change this. So if you want to do one for a particular week, you can say, you can still update it or you can, you can change the name however you want to, but that does self-populate as well. If you say next, it then takes you to all of that content that you put onto your blog page. And each of you will put different um, content onto your blog with different pictures. And then you just say, add to my newsletter. The first one you add is your lead story. And you maybe you want to add, you know, you want to add too much. So you just add, let's say four. Um, but then you realize this is a better lead story. So you click it and you drag it. It's got that kind of functionality. And when you push um, preview, the, the email is branded. This will be your brand um, and ready to go. Um, all branded with all the, the, the right things. You, you would have uploaded your databases into here and I'll show you how to do that. You choose which database you want to email to and you just push send and it literally sends it out to all of your shoppers. Or if you want to create, then you want to go and create one for tenants, you go and do the same thing. Click, 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 choose a different database that maybe says tenant and you email it and it goes off to there. Emails are quite easy. Uh, subscribers you can you can add create a whole list or constantly add to it if i go back to year anyone reading your thing can subscribe to your newsletter and it will automatically update in your um in this folder here where all the subscribers are i think that's about it for now i know i went a little bit quite quick you could watch it again if you want um, but I just wanted to give you an overall, we're going to ask a whole lot of questions when we chat um, on the telecom now. Chat to you soon. Cheers.